Follow me guys, behind the lights over here is something new and exciting from CN Racing. It's the M Sport Puma Rally 1. Now this is a rally car done right. One A scale, four wheel drive, electric, and ready to run. It comes out of the box just like this. Look at all the licensing on this. We've got Red Bull logos, the Ford logo, Sparco, Pirelli, Castrol. This is absolutely awesome. Just like the real rally car that they race in the WRC, you're about to see a really well-designed car. I know they put a lot of time and effort into this. And let's start off with the Lexan body. It's got all the lines from the Ford Puma. Love the sleek look of this. It's got the air intakes on the side and a molded Lexan scoop on the roof. But the aerodynamics of the front and the side just look absolutely killer. Then they have the molded mirrors on each side, the huge spoiler out back, multiple deck, and that is also a molded piece and actually screwed together as well. There's a couple screws that hold in the side plates. Then check out the rear hat, it just drops off. And then we have the lower splitter. The colors are absolutely vibrant on this. And the Red Bull logo is actually like a foil decal. So it's got a nice shine to it. This is a great looking body. And they give you extra decals for the rear window section with the different driver's names on them. If you want to go and swap it out, depending on which driver is your favorite. Now the windows aren't clear and it is held on with body clips, but uh, I think you guys have to admit that is just a killer looking rally body. Now underneath is this new chassis design, which is absolutely awesome. I did put some 10 scale sedans up next to it and you can see that it is larger than that. I believe they have the proportions right to the size of the real thing. On all four corners, we've got these really cool, I mean, I'm guessing OZ style spoke wheels with a Pirelli P0 tires. They're a soft rubber and it kind of feels like they have a urethane insert on the inside. I'm not gonna pull these apart, but there's definitely an insert and it's more of a slick rally tire. So we'll see how well these work through the different terrains. I'm gonna try it on asphalt and dirt to see how it goes. And let's start off with the front here, guys. So we've got a large front bumper spanning out from the uh, the chassis plate supported on top and bottom with a foam bumper pad that will help support the front of the body. The body mounts are in the front, which is nice. So that front end won't flop around. And then we get into the suspension. It has aluminum shock towers, really nice design to it. It's got a bit of etching around the outside, the CEN logo. Looks like it's a two millimeter thick plate, plenty of shock mounting points so you can go tune the suspension. 12 millimeter shocks, they are a composite body shock. They're threaded so you could adjust preload, but it feels really good. That is a nice plush suspension setup. And then the arms, these are absolutely awesome. They're a aerodynamic arm. You can see how it kind of has a wing design to it. Very sturdy. And then a highly adjustable caster block. So it's got all these different mounting points for the turnbuckle, even has a number of lower mounting points for the suspension pin. But uh, what I found interesting as well is they don't have the tie rod mounted to the shock tower. They have an additional mounting plate back here that's actually part of the gear casing for the upper turnbuckle. And then they have uh, composite steering knuckles and uh, adjustable tie rods to the steering. Since we're talking about the steering, it's just a twin bell crank setup. And I noticed there isn't a servo saver on here. So you don't see that quite often with ready to runs. Uh, usually they give you a servo saver, but this doesn't appear to have one. But the servo looks like it's got plenty of throw. And now let's look at this chassis setup. So it's an aluminum plate chassis. Let me flip this thing over so you guys could see it. Flip it over the right way because this needs to be seen. They've got the bottom of the chassis etched with the M Sport CEN Racing logo a little extra design on that that looks awesome and then you can see the gear cases and uh the spare gear kind of peeking through with the bottom of the case so they're getting that drivetrain nice and low uh there's a little bit of kick up in the front and then look at this the rear section is actually raised so you're not going to get that rear end scraping that's a 3.5 millimeter thick plate and then it's got these side guards to help keep dirt out there's a upper brace here that help just kind of secures everything together adds a little bit of extra protection just a really well thought out chassis and then a, a battery tray nice and simple actually just got velcro straps so you can put whatever size height batteries you want and then just cinch down the velcro let's spin this around the, the back now so i could finish talking about the suspension actually same shocks in the rear as in the front uh and then we got the aluminum shock tower the lower aerodynamic h arms and then a rear hub that kind of looks like the front caster block steering knuckle all in one it's got a ton of mounting points again for that upper adjustable tie rod and then inboard i forgot to mention this up front they have steel plates for the a b c and d blocks that are screwed to the gear cases and then they have a u-shaped hinge pin which i wasn't a huge fan of i like separate hinge pins so it's just easier uh, maintenance wise but i do like that they have the steel plates 
that's a lot more durable. Time to get into the drivetrain. They've got a front and rear gear differential, metal gears on the inside, ball bearings, and these are sealed differentials, and they actually come filled uh, from the factory with oil. Steel outdrives, steel dog bones, and then steel stub shafts. There aren't any universals up front. Those are just dog bones, just like the rear. And then they have this long aluminum drive shaft with steel outdrives, and then a spool setup for the spur gear. It does look like you can go and put a differential in there if you want to. They'll probably offer that separately, but it's a spool from the factory. And I noticed this upper gear cover here has a hole through it. So I'm guessing, I didn't look through the manual yet, but I'm guessing they're gonna have a slipper clutch for it. And it just would have been nice if they closed off that hole with a rubber plug so it doesn't get any dirt on the inside. I mean, the rest of the drivetrain is sealed up. Kind of odd that they left that open. The motor plate is a metal and it spans down to the uh, spur gear area and it's got this nice sliding mount set up. So you just loosen the two screws up top and you could adjust your gear mesh. Finally, we're gonna get into the electronics and these guys put a good electronics package in here. So they've got a Savox servo, 12 kg servo on six volts. It's got metal gears, so that's gonna handle the steering well. And then right behind it is a Max 10 100 amp hobby wing speed controller look at that thing that's pretty exciting to see it's got the cooling fan up top t plug for a battery setup you're gonna have to supply the battery it will run on two to three s uh, I was told that it runs really well on 2S, so you might want to try it on 2S before you go wild with a 3S pack. And then they've got a 3000 kV torque motor in here. This is a CEN motor wrapped with a heatsink and a cooling fan. That's pretty impressive. And then to control it, they included their Amp30 radio system, which is a digital radio. It's got digital trims to it, 2.4 gigahertz. You'll have to supply the AA batteries. And then there's that packet with the instruction manual, extra decals, and some basic basic tools. This is a really cool release from CEN. I'm really excited to see that they're expanding their lineup. Now let's go hit the dirt. I'm up at RC Madness in Enfield, Connecticut and just getting the rally one all dirty. This thing is just awesome in the turns, guys. Man, it's so fun to power slide it through the loose stuff. Look at that. That's cool. Now I'm running on a 2S pack and it's actually towards the end of the pack, but you guys get a good feel for the speed. They could probably use the 3S for some people, but you definitely get a good feel for it with the 2S pack. So they built the straight rhythm section here for the motorcycles and I'm just gonna roll through them, get a little bit of air off of it. Just punch it as I go off the face of the jump and then this last one, blast it, yeah. Certainly plenty of steering here for just blasting around the dirt. The servo is pretty responsive too. Yeah, look at that. Seems like they have a little bit of throttle curve programmed into this where it's a little laggy on the bottom end just to get it hooked up and then it really starts to pick up at the top end. This is the only problem that I'm encountering right now is the body's getting sucked up by the wheel and uh, basically just getting it hung up there until it kicks back out. So this might need to get cut a little bit. Watch this, there's just enough chassis roll in the corners to really make it exciting. 
but it's still under control. All right, guys, let's get a speed test in on the CEN Rally. I have a 3S battery pack in there, and hopefully this parking lot is big enough. I'll send it down just nice and gentle. You guys know. And I'll turn it around and see what we got here. Oh, my God, that's fast. <laughs> wow. That's got some rip to it. Stop. Read. 47 miles an hour that that is awesome uh, I think it, it might have a little bit more in it let me see if I could push it go back start I'm gonna send it all the way down all the way down there we go Turn it around and roll into it. Whoa, it takes off quick. Oh man. Wow. That is six CN. Stop, read, 47. All right, so we nailed it. It's 47 miles an hour on a 3S battery pack right out of the box. I'm gonna get one question over with that I know is gonna pop up somewhere in the comment section, and that is, why didn't you run it on a rally track? And the answer is super simple. I don't have a rally track anywhere near me. So I did what most people that are gonna buy this thing are gonna do with it. Go run it in a dirt lot. And there, it is super fun, guys. It's freaking fun, to be honest with you. I love power sliding this rally car around in the dirt. It had tons of power, so much punch out of this brushless system, plenty of steering out of that Savox servo. Even in the dirt, even with these slick style tires, it was still hooking up pretty well to the point where I could just have full control of having fun and just blasting around there i found a couple jumps uh, off to the side i was at rc madness and that was used for driving the, the dirt bikes and it was able to get a little bit of air off of it so you could see the thing jumping and it handled pretty well off the jumps too i did roll it a couple times but for the most part the car stayed planted then i took it over to the parking lot to get you guys a speed run on it and on a 3s battery pack we hit 47 miles an hour that's the speed for an a scale rally car this car right out of the box has some serious speed to it and it's a blast just gonna watch yourself in the parking lot. These tires have some grip and that combined with a little bit higher suspension setup gives the car a lot of grip in the corners as the chassis rolls and you could really get out of shape with this thing, roll it and then really mess up your nice Red Bull body. There is a negative that you guys need to know about with this and it's actually with the body. I believe it's the body post. Uh, the rear body mount is kind of 10 scale like and so I think it's just flexing a lot as you're driving this thing and because of that the rear tires catch the body and actually suck it up up into the wheel and it stops you it gets caught in the wheels so that's something that needs to be fixed somehow and I'm thinking what they need to do is they either need to revamp the body system in the back to be a bit more solid maybe use an actual a scale body mount or we just need to cut out the rear of the body a little bit more and that's going to take away from the the scale look but CEN stepped up rally here with this one it's a great looking car I think it's sized just right it's definitely got a cool power system to it and it's definitely going to deliver lots of excitement and fun